switch. You're up. You're already taller than me. There yeah. we go. All right, and we are ready. It's Simple Questions with Chris Bro here at South by Southwest. Why don't you tell us who you are and what you do? We're No Way Josie, and we make dance music. We are No Way Josie. We're from Brooklyn, New York. First question. Are you ready? Yes. What's turning you on right now? What is turning me on right now? Well, actually, this band Marmalakes inside is doing a pretty good job. They're they're young, they're hungry, they're full of it. They sound awesome. Definitely, I was feeling them. Um, what's turning me on right now is the sun shining. <laughs> well, yeah, good coming. Winter. Exactly. This is, this is turning me on. <laughs> Very nice. What TV or movie memorabilia would you like to own? Anything from a TV show or a movie? Would I like to own? Yeah. If I could put Baltimore in my pocket, that's my hometown. So the wire, I would say. You know, um, I have never, I was on it, but I've never watched it. So I was on the first season of the Wait wire. a minute, you were on People it? People talk about it all the time. And I was like, shit, I've never watched it. I'm so <laughs> bad. I'm such a bad Baltimore on. <laughs> and then it's such a good city. It's turning around. I love it. Yeah. Um, somehow, because we're in this long alleyway here, I can't, I can't not want... The, the giant rolling ball from Indiana Jones. Nice. I, I like that. Place, you know what? Can I steal that answer? Mm -hmm. I'll give you credit, maybe. All right. Maybe. Well, all's fair. Yeah. No, I like that answer. That's a great answer. Um, what should every woman know? What should every woman know? Um, oh, every woman should know that not all dudes are like the dudes that ride the bus from uh, South Congress up into South by every day. I, I, there were some of the wrongest <laughs> motherfuckers on that trip. And uh, it made me embarrassed to be a dude. It really did. So, uh, you know. A gentle reminder to women. A gentle reminder to women. Very nice. What should every woman know? Every woman? Yeah. Every woman should know. Um, every woman should know she's sexy. That's it. And uh, no matter what yeah. she looks like, there's something that is sexy on her, for sure. Amen, hallelujah. What should every man know? Every man should know, uh, well, God, I could go on a laundry list right now of what every man should know. But uh, since we just finished playing, I should, I'll say that every man should know that dancing is awesome, no matter what you look like when you do it. Uh, every man should know how to, how to fix a faucet and uh, <laughs> how to use some kind of like most basic power tools. If you can't be handsome, be handy. <laughs> That's what they say. <laughs> you learn that. <laughs> Learning how to program synthesizers is cool too. It gets you chicks, but it takes a really long time. So if you're young, like you're in high school and you want to learn it now, then cool. You can be kind of a rock star when you're older. But uh, if you're already 30, don't, don't, yeah. Not, not now. Uh, <laughs> that was terrible. That was really discouraging. I don't want to go on the record saying that. <laughs> Electronic and music is don't beautiful. Don't do it for the chicks. <laughs> don't do it for the chicks if you're 30. Because you won't get them until they're 70. <laughs> that's going to go on a t-shirt. That's that's the t-shirt. Um, what fictional character would you like to be? What fictional character would I like to be? And maybe date. Two different questions there. And maybe date. I snuck one in. I kind of cheated. I told you there was five. Okay, I would date olive oil. Oh, all right, cool. Gladly. Um, and who would you like to be? Fictional character. Like to be? I mean, I know this is a really lazy answer, but Popeye seems like he's got it going on, so. That was a total cop out. It was a cop out. Well, maybe I'll have something better by the time you're done. Uh, <laughs> um, I don't have one that I would say, what would I want to be? Um, I mean,. As far as a superpower goes, I would totally be Storm because I would love to control the weather. However, I don't want that like responsibility of being a superhero. <laughs> but as far as dating a fictional character, I feel like I... Animal would be fun. He would be. That would be... It would be a good date. I'm not sure you want to hang with him for very long. <laughs> and we always end with a happy moment in your life. So any happy moment at any time in your life. Happy moment at any time. I'm gonna go real recent with that. Uh, wonderful backyard slip and slide party uh, yesterday mm -hmm. out, uh, out in East Austin uh, with, with a bunch of my favorite, uh, my friends' bands from New York and a big inflatable slip and slide and uh, unlimited free beer and a lot of really nice people, so. Yep, when in doubt, slip and slide does make for happy moments. Yeah, um, that's a good one. Uh, <laughs> hmm. I'm kind of happy all the time, so that's an easy one for me. But uh, 
finishing our album was our album release party was sold out out of control <laughs> and I got to crowd surf in my own concert which is like that's I a happy crowd, moment yeah. hell yeah I crowd surf all the time at other people's concerts <laughs> I'm like, no, my own concert it's so awesome I'm not being dropped so that was definitely a happy moment for me. oh that's true not being dropped yeah not that's being it. dropped yeah on your head alright thank you very much how about a website um, it's www.nowayjosie.com nowayjosie all right, brilliant. Thanks, guys. And like I told you, I don't dance, and you almost made me dance. I didn't even well, dance my first dance at my wedding. It's a little bit of a knee bend. <laughs>